Hello everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome to Dragonfly Bee's Resale Journey. This video is part two of the jewelry lot that I purchased from Sugar Vision, uh, Steven. So let's just jump right in and see what else he sent. First off, I know you noticed this one here. There's a brand new on card, Betsy Johnson, strawberry pendant. Look at him, he's running. <laughs> uh, there's the back side of him. It's on a 12 inch chain. There's her jewelry tag, Betsy Johnson, the strawberry guy. Next up, this here, I think is one of my favorite pieces in this lot. This is glass. This is vintage. This is vintage dimpled glass. Look at these colors. You have some clear bicones in there. You have this, you see how textured they are? You even have these purple round beads. This is, um. you know what? Let me put this aside and make some room so you can see this one. This is beautiful. Um, it's an infinity strand, so I don't see any um, clasp. And this one here, has a 20 and a half inch drop, making this a 41 inch strand of beautiful glass beads. So we have that. The next necklace is very long, beautiful gold tone chain. You have this going on, all these separate dangling pendants with purple faceted teardrops and one in the middle. Uh, these are acrylic and this has a drop of 17 inches. So this is a 34 inch necklace, but you do have room to make it even longer. But look at this, isn't that fun? And then we bring you in close so you can see what they look like. I do see a little chip on this one here. Um, but they're acrylic, they're faceted, and I just think this is a really pretty necklace. So we have that. The next one's very long as well and uh it has silver tone hardware really nice extender with the teardrop bead at the end this is made up of um, metal seed beads some acrylic faceted beads some semi-precious chips you have these dyed i guess shell disc and you even have these floral metal ovals. It's a tassel necklace. This one has a 14 inch drop up to this point, And then the tassel is holding this here, floral design. And then on this side, it has a key, as well as this coin that says um, Queen Elizabeth II. So, I kind of like this. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. These are not attracting to the magnet, so I guess um I guess this is something I will test as well. But really sweet necklace. I like I like the colors. Yeah. And here, take a look at those chips. There's quartz. Looks like moss agate. Really pretty. And you even have some glass beads. So we have this one. And then last in this group is 
this here, hmm. This is acrylic, yeah. And it's made up of these nuggets. This one is glass. And then you have these dangling teardrops in between each one of those um, beads. This one has a lobster claw, a long extender. You know, this has a lot of wear, it looks like. Yeah, there's a lot of wear. You see that? It's by Bijou Turner. Bijou Turner. This has a seven inch drop. And here you have a closer look. Okay. Moving on. Okay, next up we have this necklace. Unfortunately, it's cracked. Yeah, this glass cylinder cracked. So, but look at this dichroic glass pendant. So this will be, um, this will be sold for components. This here is a vintage necklace. It's an infinity strand. It is um, really long. It's hand knotted and it's, um, it has glass beads. It's 28 inches in drop, making this a 56 inch infinity strand, but it's really, uh, the thread is so filthy. You see that? So crafters out there or jewelry repairers, you see, perhaps you can take these beautiful beautiful beads and um and we string this i mean here you can see the the thread this is old yeah there's some the hand knotting it got stretched out i mean it's a shame because these beads are really really pretty so we have this vintage I love the colors. It does go well together. The blues and the beige. And, um, yeah, some of the beads may have some wear, or I don't know. I think it's just organic, maybe. Okay. Next up, we have a bolo tie. This is leather. It's finished off with these brass tips, which do have some wear. And uh, the bolo tie has this, um, I don't know, it feels like porcelain. There's the back of it and it's even, um, it's even signed uh, something right there, K. Okay? And there is some wear and this leather cord measures 18 inches from here to the end of the um, brass tips. So we have this. I don't know what that symbol um, stands for, but yeah, it's different. Or you can, um, you can revamp it somehow. So we have that. Next up is another vintage necklace. This is, um, 14 and a half inches in drop. There is no clasp. And these are also in bad condition, meaning it needs to be restrung. You have beautiful yellow faceted glass beads. You even have these, they seem to be like, I don't know, like, these discs that have this uh, glow to them. Very dull though. And this is what I'm talking about. You see the string? Yeah, this needs to be repurposed. There, you see? So beautiful vintage glass beads with other components that can be repurposed. So yeah, you um, crafters out there, if you're new here, I normally, um, 
Well, I usually ask my repurpose folks to send me before and after pictures of things that they have purchased and perhaps um, from any of the videos and show me what they uh, we created from it. So we have this one. Okay, next up is this beautiful heart. Look at this. Glass heart pendant. There are some marks right here, but when I feel them, they're not on the outside, they're on the inside. And it came with this ribbon. It came on this ribbon. That's what I'm trying to say. But I placed it on this brand new cord. I have a bunch of these. So I think it's it looks nicer with the cord. And the cord is nine and a half inches in drop. And it does have an extender. But this heart is so pretty. But, you know, I will include the ribbon that it came with. It doesn't, um, I don't know. See, that's how it... I think it looks nicer with the black cord. So we have that. And then lastly is another vintage infinity strand. This one is 61 inches total length. And gorgeous blue faceted acrylic beads. has pretty bead caps. See that? The little floral bead caps. Really fun. Love the color. There, you can see it better. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, let's look at some craft lot items. Yeah, uh, this here is quite a heavy necklace. I'm not sure what those are. Um, meaning if they're wood perhaps or stone but these components can easily be repurposed these here are really worn i mean look at that look at that i mean they could be painted these are metal metal tubes and you have the brass beads and this is how it's finished off look how worn that s hook is um it does say India on it. So yeah, I mean, you could make something really nice out of this, or if you don't mind that distressed look, you can have this. I mean, it is quite heavy, I have to say. So, okay, so we have that. This here, these are pretty, these are glass beads. It needs um. They just need to be wiped. They're bicones. Here's the nice lobster claw. You have some of the thread sticking out right there. So we have that. This here is a really sweet necklace that's on this suede cord that looks pretty um, soiled. Uh, and it's finished off like that. But you have these really nice pendants that can be repurposed. Or you can, you can clean the necklace. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. So, yeah. Pretty blues. And there's the back of it. There is some wear. Mm -hmm. And then here we have this uh, dyed shell butterfly with some butterfly charms that do have some wear. Then you have these blue beads. There's the back of it, and uh, it's missing an extender. So we have that one, and this one's really sweet. This is on a nice ball chain with the lobster claw, and uh, it actually says Leah. So this is a Leah Sophia, but look what it's holding, a really pretty uh, blue. You see that checkerboard design? A flower and there's the back of it so yeah you have that and then this one here is on a suede no velvet cord um, not bad there's wear but it's holding this 
So this could be repurposed or just placed on another chain. Um, nice pendant with beautiful blue rhinestones. And they're all there. So we have this group. Um, a lot more craft items to, to see next. Okay, more craft lot items. I think this is a sweet little toggle necklace. This would be appropriate for maybe a little girl um, because it's uh, nothing's wrong with it. So we have that. This here is a um, wooden bead. I guess it was painted gold. Uh, and it's on this ribbon. So we have that. This here, I don't know. Is this from um, a film or something? It's a very heavy medallion on a heavy chain. And it's a toggle. So we got this one. This here is so sweet. It is a pendant. It is a starfish, but it's missing a rhinestone. So yeah, there's the back. Really nice. This here is a necklace on a ball chain and it has um, hearts with peace signs. And uh, yeah, it has some wear. This here is a St. Bernadette um, necklace. Spring ring, there it is. There's the back. And there is some wear. So we have this. This here is nice. It's um, it's in great condition. This is silver tone necklace with a little heart and pink rhinestones. And there's the back. This is in great condition. Here's an open work butterfly plate. But look at this chain. Isn't that nice? It has a lobster claw. Oh, there's even a jewelry tag, right? Does it say anything? Yeah, X, XC. Um, yeah, butterfly, cute, cute, cute. This here, very sad, it is a Cookie Lee. Um, there's the jewelry brand right there, Cookie Lee. Nice Y necklace, but it's missing a rhinestone right in the middle. But I guess, you know, you can put any color you want in there. So this would be an easy fix. And um, you can have a Cookie Lee. This is a key pendant, really worn. Look at this. It's, um, yeah, it's worn. But it's on a very long chain. So we have that. This here, let's see what this is. Um, okay, it has preset loops. I'm looking at the extender. It has a lobster claw. It has a jewelry tag. Um, sequin. It's a glass pendant, but looking at it, look, it's all chipped and scratched and in awful condition. But you have some beads you could repurpose, and you, you could even just take this pendant off and use this nice chain. So we have that. This here is a wooden bead necklace and it's strung on some cord. It, that's what it looks like. And it's holding this. This is brass. This is um, like some sort of goddess. So you have this and then you have some clip-on earrings that have a lot of verdigris and they're kind of discolored um, seed bead. And then you have this uh, gold kind of cord this is pretty though I mean look, look at that teardrop it has that moon glow effect uh, and it has this uh, kind of like a, co a antique copper tone hardware I mean it's sweet so we have these okay continuing on we have a lot more to go so let's start off with this one. This necklace, these beads are cold. Uh, they could very well be Jasper. There is a clasp that says 925, so I'll test that. And then you have these glass saucers. Really funky 
design. Now this necklace has a um, seven and a half inch drop. So we have that. The next necklace is a Chico's. This is in a matte gold tone color. It has these, um, hmm, I guess vinyl cords and a triple strand of these acrylic beads. There is this uh, hammered hoop design and it has a really long extender. This one is almost, almost four inches long. The drop on this is seven inches, so that's understandable that there's a long extender. And um, I guess that's what it would look like. So after showing those two necklaces, I was thinking, boy, that mat looks dirty. And then I realized it was backwards. <laughs> so I had to flip it over. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a little better. <laughs> Almost uh, time for a new one. So the next necklace, as you can see, is um, really, really a nice uh, organic one. This is a uh, white glass seed beads. There is a, a wooden button toggle closure. There's these really nice rectangular wooden blocks. And then you have these um, dyed shell pieces, I guess. This one has a drop of nine and a half inches and I think it's really nice. I like it. I like this one. Next, we have this glass. They're uh, iridescent. Brown beads, oval, oval shaped. There is a metal um, barrel clasp. And this one has a drop of uh, 10 inches. Next up is this uh, vintage strand of, hmm, these are very opalescent, very sweet beads with the uh, blue acrylic beads evenly spaced throughout. There's some um, tiny little gold bead spacers on either side of those blue beads. See what I'm talking about? This vintage infinity strand has a drop of 16 and a half inches. So this is a 33 inch long necklace. Um, I'm not sure, is that coating coming off? They're very irregular. Yeah. Yeah, I see little spots there. So we have this one. This next necklace is really long. There's no clasp. It has a 21 inch drop, making this a 42 inch necklace. It's made up of um, white seed beads. And then you have these stations um, of wooden beads of acrylic beads in like a frosty tone. They're all, they're all in different shapes. And um, yeah, we have that. And that's what it looks like. Close up. I guess you can, um, wear it different ways with the stations on the side or on the, you know, on the bottom, on the back. Yeah, so we have that. Next up is this, um, hmm, br dyed brown shell chips with seed beads and a barrel clasp and a large gold stone pendant. Oh, there's even a little silver tone. I guess a flower. And that's what it looks like close up. Uh, this one has a drop of 10 and a half inches. So this is a 20, 
one inch necklace and I guess the pendant give or take is a little maybe two and a half inches and maybe three but yeah lots of glitter in there next up we have this little girl painted on a gourd shaped pendant feels like wood it's on a silver tone chain and that chain says India on it she's lightweight let's take a closer look at her there she is very sweet painted on most likely hand painted uh let's see there's the bottom come on and there she is <laughs> she's cute so we have that Like I said, a lot of necklaces in this uh, mystery jewelry lot. Look at this one. I like this one. This is by, who's it by? This is by Cookie Lee. There it is, Cookie Lee. I like that there's multiple silver tone chains on top. And then you have some gem chips. What is this? That's interesting. You have these, you have some wood. It's multimedia, I guess is one way to describe it. And then it ends off with the same uh, chain design on the very bottom. I like this one. This one is long and there is an extender. There is a lobster claw right there. And this one has a drop of 20 inches, making this a 40 a 40 inch necklace all together. So this is by uh, Cookie Lee. The next one is a double strand. I see um, acrylic beads, fancy bead caps, some dyed shells, acrylic. I see two lobster claw clasp in like a brass tone. Huh. You have these beads too. Um, maybe wood. These colors are really good for autumn. Um, this one is a double strand and it measures 11 and a half inches to the shorter strand. So you figured the second strand is looks to be about two inches longer so um yeah we have this one very pretty very pretty there you go this next one you know what this looks to be really worn Unless it has this, you know, distressed look purposely. <laughs> uh, there's a lobster claw. Here is the extender. It even has a little bead on it. It is uh, three strands. Yeah, these are acrylic. Yeah, it looks to be a little bit pretty worn to me. I don't know, unless it's supposed to be that shade uh, I don't see anything missing this one is short I mean this here this drop is only six inches but you do have an extender so um, okay we have this one uh, there's no makers makers mark on it either all right um, I lined up some silver tone jewelry so let's go over them now this silver tone necklace is pretty nice uh there's a lobster claw these polished end caps you have some mesh braided and then unbraided 
Yeah. Okay, so that's what it is. So it's basically this type of chain uh, braided on, on the top and then loosened on the bottom. So this is pretty cool. Uh, this one has a drop of 20 inches. So we have this one. Not heavy, not too heavy. But yeah, this could be a nice layering piece. So we have that. Okay, next up I found this brand new chain and looking at it, um, it's by J Joelle. This is probably a purse chain, a handbag chain. Uh, the other end is still, is still wrapped. I should open it to make sure that it's okay. And this measures uh, in at 44 inches long. I'm sure it's okay. I can't take it off right now, but it says uh, made in China and here's some numbers, but here, brand new. Polished chain link for your, your handbag. There you go. Okay, next up we have this silver tone chain. It's quite thick and it's finished off with the lobster claw clasp and you do have an extender. This one here has a drop of seven and a half inches. So we have this one. You can lengthen it. Don't forget there is an extender. The next one, this is um, this is even shorter. It is a vintage necklace. Beautiful. Rhinestones. Everyone is in place. There is a, you see that? Fold over clasp. This measures only 13 and a half inches long, meaning I measured it that way. So, Unless you're petite, you will need some type of extender. But here you see it close up. Aren't these pretty amazing? And let me show you the back. There's the back side. And absolutely no maker's mark. Those are just raised beads on the clasp, not a name, but this is really a, a beautiful, a beautiful piece. So we have that. And the last one is a silver tone chain. There's a jewelry tag. It says Avon and um, it is holding a pendant. It's a horseshoe, right? filled with rhinestones. And there's a chain, nice, simple chain. There's the lobster claw. This looks it, to be in really great condition. There's the jewelry tag, it says Avon. And there's a the extender. This has a drop of seven and three quarters. And there's the back of the pendant. It does say NW right there. So we have this necklace by Avon. Okay, we're down the home stretch. Um, a few more items to go and then this part two will be a wrap. So what you see is basically what is left in the box. My tray is empty except for that little portion of an extender um everything else i had oh, everything else i went through i placed back into the box so let's go over the remaining items okay first off i found a couple nice gold tone chains that i think i'm gonna keep two for Maybe some pendants that I 
will come across. Uh, what does it say on this one? It says Korea. So we have this S chain. And then this one here is another gold tone chain. This is a nice flat herringbone. And I like that um, closure. And this says something too. This says American Showcase. Oh, okay. So these will be keepers um, for any pendants that I may have. And then next is this silver tone chain. It's a nice mesh chain. It's chains within chains. <laughs> Almost like a Spiegel wheat chain. Um, yeah, maybe I'll keep this one too. Or if you are interested, uh, did I measure this one? I don't think I did. Let me um, quickly measure it for you. And this one comes out to about 12 inches in drop, making this a 24 inch silver tone necklace and it, and it's in really nice condition so we have that next is this very distressed brass tone darkened brass tone chain that has um leaves yeah there's hanging leaves on them and here they are. Uh, one, that's how it would fall because one is shorter and then this one is on a longer chain. This drop goes up to 14 inches up to the first leaf. So we have this one. There's the lobster claw. And there's the leaves. There you go. here you can see it like so okay next up we have this necklace it's silver tone uh has a spring ring hanging off of it this looks like a faux pearl in like a T tahitian pearl style tone and then you have clear rhinestones above that it's a very sweet necklace um you know what I'm just curious curious Okay, this is not magnetic, so we'll test that at the end of the video, uh, along with the other items. So we have this very pretty, very pretty necklace. Next one we have is this silver tone chain. It has a very nice closure, like the ones that you would find on some Monet necklaces this is a this is a good chain it's a nice chain and holding it um and it's holding this cross there's the back of it i don't know this cross looks looks like pewter maybe so um the drop on this necklace is nine and a half inches in drop so yeah this is magnetic and that is not okay um yeah it looks pewter to me but okay we'll check it out next one this is a rubber cord finished off like so you have these rondelles and it's holding this really nice glass faceted pendant this one has some flea bites and there are some maybe that's a smudge yeah maybe other than that i mean isn't that green really a pretty shade it's such a pretty green yeah um this one has a drop of uh, nine inches. Yeah, nine inches. Oh, those rondelles are traveling. I gotta say, these are heavy. They're heavy. So, um, okay. They attract. So we have this uh, glass pendant. 
necklace in this really beautiful green tone. I wiped it so you can see right in the center, that's what I'm referring to. Other than that, I mean, this pendant is not bad. There's a little mark right there on the side. I just love that color. Okay. The next one is another cord necklace. This is not rubber. This is um some kind of, gosh, it feels like a coated plastic of some sort. That's funny. There's a bead at the end of this extender. And um, you have these very decorative rondelles. And they have a raised bead design. These are actually glass, the black ones. And it's holding the skull, the skull and crossbones. But looking at it closer, the this guy right here has a broken crossbone. So yeah, part of that bone uh, is missing. So, um, but you know what? These components can easily be repurposed. You can take him off. And if you don't mind a missing bone, you can just wear it as is. Uh, yeah, Halloween is coming up. Or, you know, something for your pirate costume. This next one is on a cord. It has an 11 and a half inch drop. This is the way it is finished off with this type of hook hanging off of it. I believe this is pewter. It says WWJD. I don't know what that stands for, but if you do, let me know. And on the back of it, it says, I will walk in your truth and it's the Psalm. So yeah, we got this one. Up next is another cord necklace. This also has a lobster clasp uh, and this beautiful mother of pearl flower pendant. There's a the backside. And on the bail, it actually says something right there. It says 18 karat gold plated. So we have this very sweet uh, cord necklace and the drop on this is uh, nine inches long, making the quarter 18 inch cord. This next one, this is a very yellow gold ball chain with that type of closure. This has an eight and a half inch drop and it's holding this uh, coin or pendant. There's a symbol on one side. I don't know what that stands for. And then on the opposite side is something I seriously can't read because it's not that's not English. Animum Debus Mutere Non Okay, what is that? Latin? I don't know. <laughs> that looks like a hot air balloon. Well, anyway, this is in great condition. I don't know what it means, but if you do, share with us that knowledge. Next up is this beautiful torque polished silver tone with the twist in the front. And looking at the insides, I do see a mark and it is right there. And it says, it's upside down. It says, it says Mexico. That's what it says. So, I took the tape measure and measured all around here uh, and it, it measures 14 inches in circumference but um, this is very very pliable so uh, this is something I will test at the end of the video so we have um, this torque okay next up we have this box I don't know if the item inside did come in this box but it says Gold Coast always in style Ooh. platinum plated wow check out these earrings blinged out purple 
rhinestones filled with clear ones all around. Let's uh, let's see if I could take this out. They're post earrings. Nothing written on the back. Let me put this uh, back on. Nice setting. See that? These are adorable. Um, it's funny, there's some blue. There's some, like a blue tint. You see that? There's like a blue tint on the side. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, let's take a look at the other one. Put the post back on there. Uh, no, this doesn't have it. It's um, open back. They look to be just costume, but you know what? I'll, I'll test them. I'll test them later. But aren't they pretty? Fanciness. Fancy, fancy. And they're tiered. You see that? There you go. Okay. Very nice. Okay, next up we have this uh, heart pendant, open heart pendant. And on the bail, there's a letter S. Um, I'm not sure what that could denote, but it's not magnetic. So it could mean S is for sterling, but I can't be sure until I test it. Isn't that pretty? Look at that shine. There's the back side. Very nicely constructed. I don't know if you could see the S on the bail. So this is pretty interesting. And um, there's the opening. I have sterling silver chains, but I could not get the jump ring through there. So, but this will be tested. So we'll, we'll uh, find out what it is. Next we have, ooh, we have a brooch. Look at this, a multi-tiered. This is, uh, has some weight to it. It's gold tone. <gasps> There's an open heart center. Filled with green emerald colored rhinestones and little baby seed pearls. Faux pearls. All right, um, I'll test this. I'm pretty sure these are glass, but what a pretty brooch. The, the, this is like, I think the only brooch, right? This is pretty, so we have that. Look at this. This is a, the only ring in this lot. And um, it's kind of bent right there on the lower right. Um, it does say 925 inside. So we'll test that. Let's take a look at this. Filled with marcasites all around. I guess those are supposed to be petals. And then you have this black stone, which does feel cold. And um, let's see what size it is. This falls at a little over a six. That's a pretty ring. Is it a six only? Yeah, it's small. Okay, um, another item to test. So last in this box are earrings. I got five pairs when 
I purchased the box from Steven. He does ask whether or not you want clip-on earrings or pierced earrings. I asked for clip-ons. So let's go over them. Um, first pair are these. Oh, these are so nice. They are flower earrings, black rhinestone centers, and you have those petals all around. Uh, here is the back side. They look um, really nice. This train is going by. There you see the back. They are pretty clean. And um, yeah, unsigned, but really sweet clip-on earrings in this black uh, floral design. The next pair is uh, these button earrings and they're in this beautiful, like a brick color, burnt orange maybe. And then it has these uh, gold um, glittery designs going through it. Here's what it looks on the back. They are gold tone in excellent condition. So we have this pair of button earrings. Really sweet. This next pair, oh, these are nice. These are gold tone. Look at the back. These are so well made, um, like a mesh surround. And there you see the faux pearls. And these faux pearls look beautiful. I don't see any scratches. I don't see any nicks. Here's the back. Excellent condition. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised these are not signed. And yeah, they're not signed. Uh, there's the back. So we have this pair. Classic. Really sweet. I like that. Uh, here's another pair of button earrings. They're, they're tiny, smaller ones, but great. These uh, earrings are great for the autumn. This is in this beautiful pumpkin shade. All right? And... Let's look at the back. Gold tone. Great condition. Yeah, very nice. There you see the back side. Beautiful little button earrings like those. And then the last pair. These have a little weight. They're like textured. No, oh, no. Yeah. Knots. Oh, look at the back. This has a very, very unusual back. You see how they are? Are these clip-ons? Hmm. Now, if your lobe goes in here, then this would catch your ear. Oh, uh, yeah. They're essentially our clip-ons. It says uh, patent, patent it. Patented it. I can't even say that word. It says something. It says pat patented. Patent. <laughs> okay, it says something, but these are pretty awesome. Uh, and there's no brand, but that very special clip on the back, very unusual. These are in great condition. So that is the last pair so um the next segment will be the testing portion if you don't want to watch that then i'm going to um wrap up this part two of this awesome mystery jewelry box that i got from steven of sugar vision don't forget i have his link below in the uh, description box so if you're not subscribed to him please do and uh, check out his channel which you know i am sure you have and also um if you enjoyed this type of content please give me a thumbs up if you would like to purchase something 
um, email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. The instructions are in the beginning of the video after my introduction. I also include them always below in the description box. Uh, what I do ask is that you put the title of the video or maybe the date. Uh, that way I know you can always backtrack to other videos because I always keep a sold list. So if anything sells, there will be a pin comment of sold items. So if you do backtrack and, and maybe look at an older video, uh, there will be a sold list in the comments section. And if you do see something that you may like, and I may still have it, I do have a lot of inventory that I have not sold. Um, you have to be subscribed too in order to get in on these deals. So if you haven't already subscribed, um, press that subscribe button down here and ring the bell, choose all notifications. That way you'll be alerted when I post new content. I'm trying to stick to a schedule whereby I post every Sundays and Tuesdays. I do work full time. So um, most of my sales now are pre-recorded and that way I can schedule them to post. Uh, thank you. Thank you everyone for spending time with me out of your busy schedule and watching my channel. I appreciate you all so very much and um, I will see you real soon. So until next time, bye now. Mm -hmm.